so today we are going to start working on the fenders I am going to try and finish both of them but I don't promise you guys anything so uh, we're gonna start by taking off the fenders I need to remove my front bumper and I need to remove a couple bolts from the top from the sides and yeah so that's gonna be a whole process I think I also need to remove some bolts from the headlight I'm not sure I need to double check but that being said let's get started and probably I will have two videos of in installing these fenders so stay updated I also brought the Dremel from work just in case I need to make holes and all of that stuff so so yeah all this video I think it's gonna be just about removing everything just the fenders the, the under plastic that we have on the wheels and bumper headlights and all of that stuff and yeah that's about it guys I think that it's gonna be two videos about this so stay stay updated and thank you for all the support there's gonna be two videos stay updated and I just want to say thank you guys for all the support that you guys bring to this channel let's reach 10k subscribers remember we have the wrap giveaway and that's at 10k so stay updated thank you for all the support and also good news is that I started started going to the gym that is good news I was starting to put some pounds and I was starting to get huge so it is good we are back we are losing weight like i said we're gonna start by uh removing all these fenders all the plastics the headlights and all of that stuff so so here we have the fenders so i will be flipping the car the other side and that way we have more space that way so let's go ahead and do that all right guys so i just want to start by removing all this plastic you're gonna have to remove it this one over here you just pull and it comes out fast so this one just move it to the side and probably pull this one out too as well and same goes for the driver's side and then after that you have your bolts over here there's one we need to remove that one uh, we also have one over here I think yes that's one and then work our way we'll remove this one and then maybe by the door we might have one as well so I'll show you guys the whole process um, I'm not gonna I don't think I'll be showing step by step but I'll show you guys so that is the plan remove the fenders I'm gonna start with passenger side all right, sorry for the dog noises, neighbors. All right, so we removed one over here. We removed one over here. We removed this one over here. But keep in mind that we, I removed my, I didn't use the clips that the OEM has. I just put zip ties. So I got those out and just keep in mind that yes you need to remove your headlight and your bumper because fender is not moving it's attached to the headlight over here and yeah we need to I need to remove my bumper and go from there take out this fender all right so so far the process is I had to remove the headlight the bolt for the headlight so the bumper is out as you guys can tell so now this whole part it moves now we are working on our way through here and eventually as you guys can tell this is out so we might have like a bolt down there and i also need to remove this one that's easy so should be pretty easy so let's see what else we have all right so for this you need to open the door like super wide and then after after that you are able to remove your side skirt that's what I did and at the bottom you're gonna have two bolts you're gonna take those off and there's one over here by the door and pretty much you are all good to go and remove the fender 
it fits attached to the top with plastics or something like that you're gonna be able to remove them but let's go ahead and remove this fender all right guys so if everything goes as I as, it, uh, as it's planned everything's going smooth removing the fenders and all of that so right now what, what I have left is uh, use my Dremel the holes are marked over here so make sure you make them um, big enough just kind of follow your fender and then just make them big with the Dremel and then you're gonna need one over here and one over here and also you need a hole over here and then after that you need to make the holes for that clip over here on here so that way it attaches to your fender and yeah basically just follow everything so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you guys the finished result on the fender and that should be good all right so far i just did this hole this one i put the clip over here so now we are moving into the big clip over here that goes right there so when i install that one and we're gonna put this two bolts and we have this one as well and this one guys we just installed this clip and this is where the bumper goes so now we are going into the next clips that are these two over here and then one over here so that's how it's gonna work all right guys so we are on our second clip now it's turned for the big clip that goes over here so now you need to measure where you want it so it's gonna go something like this just kind of like measure it make sure it lines up so it should be like that yep all right all right guys so we got our clips we got two three i got this one over here we got this one perfect fit man it doesn't move now we need these three for the headlights i think that's what they they go for so i'm just gonna drill them out and we got left these three over here this uh the headlight goes in here we got one more over here and that's pretty much it and i think uh from the other side i think we have a couple more again warning if you don't know what you're doing or if you never worked before with uh, fiberglass or carbon fiber don't do this at home uh, take it to a shop and get it over with I'm doing all the work so yep yeah. let's get to it all right guys so it is time to put this fender back we got the holes we got everything you guys can tell Everything is there, so now it is just time to put it back in. We got the holes right there, everything. So, let's try it out. All right guys, so I haven't been recording because uh, I'm just trying to figure out the fitment of this uh, carbon fiber fenders. So far, I had to go back and make the holes a little bit like rect rectangular, like going down, so that way you are able to play with the fitment because other than that if you do the holes right where it's marked you're not gonna get it right see that's what I did there and then also as well over here at the top I had to open the holes a little bit more just be careful don't go too big because then you're gonna mess it up and another thing that um 
I had to remove my fender wheel um, the plastic that goes under the wheel uh, because it wasn't letting the fender touch or sit right so I had to remove that and right now fitment looks looks good so right now just let me finish putting the bumper the headlight and everything and see how the fitment is all right guys so this is how the car looks I was able to fix that gap that the car well that the fender had um, you basically gonna find an issue over here uh, at the bottom you need to make the holes bigger just be careful how to how to use a washer in order for like the whole like so it, it doesn't move uh, just super tight and just don't crack the the fiber but yeah I was able to use a washer with the bolt and everything came out pretty cool like the gap between the door and the fender is not as big as it was so now it looks perfect everything lines up everything looks good so now the only problem problem that I have is I cannot lower the car anymore probably through here and it's it's touching so now what I'm thinking is um, this is gonna be a decision where either I get a camber kit and when you lower the car it goes in with the camber kit or the other option is get a white body and cut this over here get rid of that and put the white body but that's about it other than that can't think of anything else but we'll see we'll see what happens so yeah those are the options that I have is either buy a camber kit and make sure the the wheel goes in uh, with the camber kit or buy a white body make the wheels bigger you know same for the back uh, I don't know I need to make decisions on what I want uh, either go white body cut it over here and then the only white body that I like right now it's the Outcast Garage one but they don't make it anymore so if you know someone selling one or that is willing to let me borrow the, the kit and then I can send it back to Outcast Garage and they can make more uh, let me know drop in the comments if I can get my hands on that body kit I'll, I'll add it to this add it to the back make my wheels bigger and basically we're gonna go white body so well not white body but it's flares whatever you guys want to call it and yeah that's the plan so uh, that's it for right now I finished only one it takes time and patience and that's the other one I didn't got the time to finish so like I told you guys this is gonna be like two videos I'm not sure if it's gonna be three but so far this is where the car stands so yeah like I said I'll check my options see if I can get a camber kit and make sure that the wheel goes inside or get a white body and go from there just gonna call it a day and uh, I'll keep you guys updated for the next fender the driver's side so again don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon